Hey everybody, and Happy New Year's. I think the best way to end the year off is with the top 10 of my favorite movies. So, we're going to get into my top 10 favorite movies of this year. Before we actually get into that, we are actually going to take a look at my honorable mentions. So, you know, the movies that didn't make the cut, but are still good enough that could possibly be in that top 10. So, let's take a look at the honorable mentions. I crashed the car into the plane, like Liam Neeson in Taken 3. He did that in Taken 3, huh? Uh, you missed it. <laughs> Thanks, baby. If anyone wants to clap, now is the time to do it. Oh, brother. I don't remember being cheery. <laughs> People say nothing is impossible, but I do nothing every day. Bring it on one night, Willie. Ooh! Yeah! Your bullets. They're really fast. Hey, what I miss? We were just tiny. Those are the animal mentions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start up this video with number ten. Gonna be a fight. I wish somebody spoke his language. Wow. Alright, so as you saw, Isle of Dogs is in my top 10, and which is number 10. Now, stop motion is one of my favorite genres of animation. And of course, Nightmare Before Christmas is one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. And, oh no. Um, Isle of Dogs really surprised me. I really, really enjoyed it. I loved them. The comedy was okay. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. I liked the visual stuff. The only thing I would say was bad about this was the characters weren't translating to English, even though the dogs were translating to English, which made zero sense. I don't know why they did that, but hey, they did that. And it had a lot of quirky fun in it. Like, it was really visually amazing, too. I just really enjoyed this movie. And I do recommend watching Isle of Dogs. And I don't actually, I didn't buy it on Blu-ray and Black Friday because I was limited on money. But, you know, I'll probably pick it up whenever it goes back on sale. So, let's go to number nine. Dogs Dogs open their hearts to us, to love, and to be loved. And I find that beautiful. <laughs> And for number nine, we have the movie called Dog Days. Dog Days is just a nice, warm-hearted, funny movie about different owners. It's not actually about dogs. It's about dog owners and their relationships. Some of them fall in love. Some of them have trouble. Some of them are trying to find their dog. And these dogs bring them together and bring happiness to their lives and even fix their lives a little bit. And it's just a nice movie. It's really sad and also really funny. I really enjoyed it. It's a really small film. It didn't really come out in many releases. It only had a couple of showings, and I wasn't able to go see a showing, sadly, but I did pick it up on DVD when it released, and I just absolutely love this movie. It's just, I really highly recommend going and see Dog Days. It's really good. Um, there's not much else I could say about it because they're just being on the spoilers, but yeah, just check out Dog Days. So, let's go to number eight. You've got me. And I'm not going anywhere. Number eight. And number late on my list is Bumblebee. Now, I know what you're saying. Why is Bumblebee here? Now, Bumblebee was a surprise to me. I love The Iron Giant. I love E.T. And those two movies mixed together into one makes a fantastic movie. And I can't believe it. A Transformer movie actually made it into someone's top 10. 
I'm surprised. But I love the heck out of this movie. The action isn't just some bull crap blowing your face where you can't even tell what's happening. It's not blurry. That It's not like a real cinematic looking shot. It's really nice, warm-hearted, a good movie for the family. It seems like, and Transformers seem like the old toys that we... I've never seen the old show, but it does looks like the old toys and the old TV show, which I appreciate about that. It has a lot of heart to it, and I love the characters and stuff. And Bumblebee, yeah, sure, he's really dumb for some reason. I mean, they had to dumb down him to make a movie like this. But I just, I really enjoy it. And I know you guys are really skeptical on Transformers movie after being really horribly you know, mistreated for five movies, but all they have to do was change the director and they could have made a good Transformers movie. For five movies, they had Michael Bay. Why? Why? And, yeah, the girl was good, Charlie. I really liked her, too. It just, it really, it was really tough to see if this was going to be my top ten, but I really just put it in because it was actually a really good movie, so check it out. All right, let's move over to number seven. Do you know what I like to do? Really? Alright, let me fix it, okay? Thanks, Daddy. I just got my first daddy. Oh, what the? I suck! I want some of that. Hey, honey, can I help you with anything? Nope! And for number seven, we have Instant Family. Instant Family was a surprise to me. It's another one of those small movies, but I bet a lot of you heard of it. It's a really nice, really heartful movie. Had a lot of cute humor and makes you almost cry a lot. I didn't cry because I'm a man of steel, <laughs> puppet of steel. But I didn't. But it was really sad. I really enjoyed it. Like both the characters, the family dynamic to it. It was really about this family that adopts some kids, and they try to get along and they try to build a family together. Of course, they, and there's always things that drop that make them want to regret actually getting those kids, but. They always come back to each other because they really do care about each other, which is really nice. So, yeah, I did really highly recommend Instant Family. So, yeah, that was a good one. And we'll move on to number six. Take a seat. Number six. Paddington 2. Wow, Paddington 2 actually made it pretty high on the list. It took me a while to I rewatched the movie again and to see how I really felt about the movie, and I absolutely love this movie. There's almost hardly any flaws even discussed about this movie. Thinking of that, why is it not number one? Well, I do like other films more than Paddington 2, and there are flaws. There are flaws in those movies, but they're not as bad. But I do love Paddington. The sweet little bear goes to jail, but all makes everyone else in his life, even at jail, happy. He brings happiness to everyone, even people in jail. It was so nice. It was a fun action, not really action adventure, but it was a fun little adventure with the bear. And it was just a delight to watch. And the villain, he's really fun. I really like the villain in this one, better than the first one. And just, it was so nice. Like a lot of these movies I've watched and I like are just heart filled. This, this is like, this is a family film done right. It's a really good family film. I do highly recommend Paddington 2. And so yeah. I just really recommend Paddington 2. All right, we're going to move on to number five. Hey, ho, brother. You will not be able to plug in, turn on, and cop out. What's on that for The revolution will not be televised. Let's have some fun. The revolution will be live. 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 Number five is Black Panther. Now, maybe a lot of you are going to be pissed off that Black Panther is actually number five and not number one. Honestly, I don't like Black Panther that much, but I like it more than these other five. Black Panther was a special movie. It had a lot of cultural phenomenon to the world. Um, it was a really good movie. I gotta admit, it was a good movie. It had a lot of good action scenes, but there's some parts of the movie that really did bore me. But I'm getting to the negative. It was a really good movie. Really enjoyed it. The villain, one of the best Marvel villains ever. And just, it was really good. It was a real surprise to me. I didn't think Black Panther would be that good. I mean, sure, I knew it was going to be a good movie because it's Marvel. Because Marvel makes a lot of good movies. But I didn't think it was going to be as good as I thought it was going to be. 
and it was just great and it's good um and it's good for black people to have that you know credibility being a superhero it's the first black superhero it was good it was they see my culture on the big screen represented so well and yeah and there's hardly any white people in this movie which is nice i really enjoyed this movie picked up on blu-ray really good movie and really really enjoy this so i do recommend this one even though i believe most people in the states have seen this movie though all right so we're gonna move on to number four Okay, a lot of you guys are probably hating on me in the comments saying, why the heck is Ready Player One your number four? It's a terrible movie. I don't care. This movie, I enjoy the heck out of this movie. I'm a sucker for cop culture references. I'm just a sucker for it. I love all everything about this movie. Everything. It's great. I love it. Sure, it has tons of flaws in it, but I love the heck out of it. It's fun. It has a lot of fun action scenes and adventure, and there's a romance, which is kind of crappy, but it's really, it's a fun movie. Just a fun movie. You're like one of my like the funnest movie I've ever seen in a while. In a while, just made me smile every time I was watching it. I just love it. And I'm like, sure, Rick Ralph breaks the internet had a lot of culture stuff, but I just enjoyed this a lot more. And you could say it's mostly an animated movie. Yeah, kind of is mostly an animated movie, but it's a really good fun animated movie. It's kind of like Venom. Venom was a fun movie, but it's not anything close to my top ten. But this was a fun movie. It like good enough for me to even put it in my top five. Which, I'm ha I just love this movie, I'm sorry. Guys, you can hate me in the comments, but it's my opinion, and I just, I just really enjoy this movie. Alright, so we're gonna move on to number three. Number three, we have The Incredibles 2. Incredibles 2, I love the first Incredibles. The first Incredibles was a great film. I loved it all the way through. And it's like, I think it's my second favorite Pixar movie under Inside Out. And I was super excited for the second one. I've been waiting so long, and I was so happy when they announced that they were going to move up the date from Toy Story 4. Because we've already had four Toy Stories. We need Incredibles 2, man. And Incredibles 2 did meet my expectations. It was a great sequel. And I just, I love it. It's like my third favorite Pixar movie now. I love The Incredibles, the family dynamic, and yeah, sure, it's like the basically the first movie with the roles changed, but still, it's a pretty good, it's well executed. I love it. Love the characters. I want to see more Incredibles. I hope we get more and don't have to wait 14 more years to the future to get this movie. But yeah, and I bet most of you guys have seen it. It's Incredibles 2. And just, yeah, Incredibles 2, great movie. Just recommend it all the way through. Just, yeah. Incredibles 2. So, we're going to move on to my second favorite movie. Bounce. As all things should be. I hope they remember you. Do we have Avengers Infinity War, baby? Yeah, Avengers Infinity War. What a great movie. Now, I've been a Marvel fan since Avengers. The first Avengers was my first Marvel movie I've ever seen, and I fell in love with it instantly. And I've been with the franchise since then. And I've just been waiting and just waiting for Thanos to pop up. And when they finally bring him out, they did not disappoint. Amazing action scenes. And char no character development though, but we've already had the character development. This is a like a thank you card for all the fans that have just been with this series for so long. And it did not disappoint. Great action, great, like all the characters except Hawkeye and Ant-Man. But nobody cared, because it was still pretty good. I love this movie. It was just fantastic. Like, it's great. And like, the fact that I can't stop thinking about the movie, it just had to make my top, it just had to be number two. Like... 
it was for number one for a while, but there was another movie that just came out that just really made me think that this movie, that other movie is much better, but this movie is still great, and I think everyone has seen it by now and knows what's happened. And it's just a, it's an amazing way to end off a movie, though. Like, with a giant cliffhanger and something bad that happened that everyone wants to know about. Uh, it's just, it's just great. It's, I love this movie. Alright, now to the number one. This was never your city. It's mine. If I don't destroy the collider, none of us will have a home to go home to. Remember, what makes you different? Let's go! is what makes you Spider-Man. Officer, I love you. <laughs> Wait, what? Number one. And for number one, we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. This took me a while to think about. I had to really sit down and think, why Why would Spider-Man number be my number one? Because great animation and it's just great overall movie. I go more into depth into a review. So down in the comments, well, not, not comments, the description will be my review on Spider-Man. This is a great movie. Amazing theatrical movie. Spectacular looking. Great story. Great characters. Really funny. It's everything you want in a movie. And it even has great animation. And I know a lot of you guys are anime, like, a lot of you guys hate animation, but this is one anime movie that I think any non-animation lovers would enjoy. It's a movie for everyone. It's not just a kid's movie, as I gotta say. And the I didn't know much about Miles Morales. The only thing I knew about him was actually through the Ultimate Spider-Man TV show. I didn't really know. I didn't think they even showed the powers of Miles Morales. I just knew there was a black Spider-Man. I was like, okay, there's a black Spider-Man. But this made me see that he's more than a black Spider-Man. He's his own character. And he's a really good character. I really like Miles. And he's like a real down-to-earth character. And we finally got an adult Peter Parker. And it was I love the adult Peter Parker. Really good. And I really want to see more of what happens in this universe. So, yeah. I mean, this movie deserves to be number one. I love this movie. And I can't think of anything else that's better than it right now. So, yeah. That's my top ten. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next year. Goodbye.